Okay, you guys, I got a little something uh, different. Look what I found in Walmart. Yum. Hello, turtles. Are you kidding me? So today, I'm just going to have a regular Folgers coffee. And I'm going to put this in there. Now, they had uh, coffee crisp and they had a mint chocolate, I believe it was, at Costco. So, yeah, go check it out. Okay, let's make the coffee. Chocolatey. Oh, did you see that? Oh, no, you didn't. Look at that. Oh, okay. Stir it up. Oh, look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, let's go try it. Hello, yarn of bees. How are you today? Ah, wow. We're just sailing along here, aren't we? <laughs> okay, welcome to another day of another episode of 25 Days of Blissmas that I am doing with Rosalie at Yarn It Out. And uh, my hand's crooked. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got a playlist down below where you can watch all of her videos and all of my videos all in one place. And basically, it's she sent me uh, 25 gifts. I sent her 25 gifts, and we open one a day until Christmas. So, yeah. Okay. Coffee. This turtle's coffee. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. I couldn't believe it when I walked in. It was a year ago or two years ago that I had heard about this stuff, but we didn't have it here. I was just like, why, why, like why? So I've been waiting all that time to try this stuff and I am so excited. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Going in. Oh. Okay, my coffee's a little strong. I'm not used to drinking George's coffee. Um, but the, I could have put more creamer in here, I guess. Oh, hair. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. And now I want to try the coffee crisp. <laughs> oh, mm, yeah. This, you know what? This would probably even taste good in tea. Like just a red rose tea. Oh, I bet that would be good. Oh. Oh, the possibilities. Oh. Mm. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I got it at Walmart. It wasn't very expensive. I think, well, for Canada, it was like $4.99, I think it was. So down in the States, it would probably be cheaper. But, um, you know, let me know down below if you guys have your have it in Walmart and if you guys have different flavors. Like, wow. Like, the possibilities. Think of all the chocolate bars that they can make into coffee creamer. Oh, what would be your favorite? Yeah. Hmm. Possibilities. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get back to what we're doing. All right. As I said yesterday, <clears throat> Rosalie was moving. Didn't have time to wrap all the gifts, so they're in a box. I'm just going to reach in and see what we get. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's on a stick. And it's a mitten. Hey, it reminds me of one of the... Oh, oh Karate Kid. Remember that? The Karate Kid drum? <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> my hands don't want to work. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's all stuffed. I'm going to put that in my Christmas tree. <clears throat> Where should we put it in the Christmas tree? We'll put it here. Nope. Come on. Work with me. Can you guys see it there? Yep. Put it. Oop. Come on. Work with me. Okay. You're not going to work with me? Okay. I'll put it in the Christmas tree so that you can see it tomorrow. Okay. There you go. Thanks, Rosalie. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Coffee creamer. <laughs> not my friend, but I love it anyway. Okay. All right. Of course, I didn't bring my glasses. Darn it. <coughs> uh, which day are we on? I don't even know now. Oh, okay. Yesterday's question was, in the Elf movie, how does Buddy get to the North Pole? I'm assuming that all of, a lot of you got it right because I have no idea. He hides in Santa's sack. Apparently, from what I got from the comments, he was a baby and he crawled into Santa's sack and then he got taken to the North Pole. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, man, now I, I was going, I, I, I got a comment saying who the, the main character was. I've got it in my head. Will... Mm, I just uh, gone. <laughs> Darn it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, you, you guys already know. Farrell. That's it. Will Farrell. <laughs> oh, that hurt my brain. Ow. <laughs> okay. So I finished it, guys. I finally finished the sweater. <sighs> finally. Okay, hang on. Let me get it. Okay, so here it is. It's going to be kind of hard to show. Maybe I can back you guys up a little bit here. There. Okay. So here it is. Oop. You guys see that? Uh. Okay. And then the back is plain burgundy. So, now, oh, come here. oops, there we go. <clears throat> now, the stitch on this is a textured stitch, okay? Very interesting stitch. Let me tell you, it's the textured stitch on the back as well, except I cheated. The front stitch, the, the stitch I did on the front was <clears throat> um, skip one, double crochet, then go around the back of the double crochet into that skipped stitch and do a double crochet. So it's a cross stitch, but it goes around the back. Okay. <sighs> I'll tell you when you're doing, <clears throat> sorry, it was half double crochet, not double crochet, half double crochet. When you're doing a whole front of a sweater in that, <sighs> I tell you the words that came out of my mouth. <laughs> I, just, I could not wait to be finished this. And then the back of the sweater, I did the same stitch, but I went in the front of the, the half double crochet, which made it a lot easier <laughs> and way faster. <laughs> so, but, um, and then I just did for the sleeves, I kind of got a little bit of texture going on there because I, I went half double crochet one way. Then I went half double crochet the other way. So it gave this really nice little ridge, right? Um, 
But yeah, it's finished. And the collar, whoops, I've never done a collar like this before, like a squared off collar. Um, I really like it. I really do. <clears throat> and the way that you get that is by doing, like you do the front panel of the sweater and then you do like five rows on either side and then you do the collar. <clears throat> like you just go half double crochets. Did I do half? No, I did double crochets around the collar. So, yeah. Whew. I am so glad that's done. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the only problem is, is that I did it in a small to medium. Not a large or extra large or two, two X or whatever. So, yeah. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> but it's, yeah, I, I mean, I really love it. It's nice and thick. It's nice and thick. And it's, um, it's going to be great for cold weather for someone. So, yeah. <clears throat> yep. So that's done. Oops. Oh, Bailey's going to start barking here. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Okay. <clears throat> did I even read today's question? I didn't read today's question, did I? <laughs> I was just so excited about showing the sweater. Okay, today's question is, what is the first company that used Santa Claus in its advertising? Hmm. I wonder. My guess would be Macy's, but I could be totally wrong. Because, I mean, the Macy's Day Parade and all that, right? Isn't that what we were talking about before? Maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. So, yeah. So, leave your comment down below. What is the first company that used Santa Claus in advertising? Okay. I'm sure you're going to get it all right. You're all going to get it right. I mean... <laughs> Holy cow. I definitely need more coffee. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. So what am I going to work on now? I'm thinking about a sweater. Well, actually, I started working with that homespun kind of yarn that I showed you the other day, yesterday, day before yesterday day before yesterday, something like that. <clears throat> the, the black and purple and green one. Hmm. We'll see how that turns out. I started doing the, the front of a sweater for that. I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. So it's just going to be your basic half double or double crochet because that yarn is so fluffy and so, you know, like you, you and textured, you would not see a, a different stitch in it. So <clears throat> it's going to be very basic, very plain, but it's going to be so pretty. Here's hoping. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. The other yarn, um, I got a lot of comments from you guys saying, hey, don't worry about it. They use other ball bands for that kind of stuff. Take it as the sticker that's on it. Um, I got a wonderful uh, email from Seagal Alon. Um, she explained to me the pricing of ice yarns and that in all essence, the, it was actually a pretty good deal that I got. So I was like, okay, and then I got a whole bunch of other comments that from people that actually buy the ice yarns all the time, like Angela for my precious yarnery and, and stuff like that. And that they were saying, Hey, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's not wool. I'm like, okay. So I went in the bedroom and I tried it. I felt it and it was fine. And did I say the bedroom? No, <laughs> in my yarn room. Um, and I think 
what kind of freaked me out was the nylon that was in it. The nylon was um, like that old style nylon, you know, from back in the day. I, it felt like that at first. Uh, but Seagal was saying, you know, once it's out of the plastic and it's had time to relax and breathe, it doesn't feel like that anymore. <clears throat> and so I had, a, I actually had one out of the plastic since I showed it to you and it doesn't feel like that anymore. <laughs> so I'm like, yes. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to be able to use this <clears throat> for what I don't know, because I have a ton of it now. Uh, and I don't know, maybe I'll make a sweat whole sweater out of it. No, I don't know. I'll see. I'll figure it out. I wonder if I could do just a plain yarn with it and then have that yarn. So that yarn looks textured and the other looks plain and it kind of give this uh, 3D effect. I don't know. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> so I'm just glad I'm finished this sweater. <sighs> and I'm sure that after using this other yarn for a little while, I'm going to be wishing that it was finished too. <laughs> I can already tell I'm like, one of my couple rows in and going, what was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so stay tuned for that. Uh, don't forget to go to Rosalie's channel and see what I got her today. Ah, uh, the link is down below. <clears throat> um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. That's all folks. Yeah. Okay. So I will talk to you tomorrow and uh, yeah, have a great day, you guys. I love you all. Bye.